Hello, my name is Tim Clark. I'm a director with Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors, and today we're going to be talking about cracking in buildings. As with anything building related, don't panic. There are numerous reasons that a building might crack, and it's unlikely that cracking needs to be dealt with immediately, as most houses are very robust. In our experience, Cracking can be caused by a number of factors, including thermal movement, freeze-thaw action, impact damage, settlement and subsidence. The Building Research Establishment categorises cracking into six different categories, ranging from hairline cracks of less than 0.1mm and large structural cracks of greater than 25mm. Typically, we start to become concerned that cracking might need structural remedial work if we identify a series of cracks in excess of 3mm wide as this is normally where the real trouble starts. Let's have a look at some of the co common causes of cracking. Thermal movement is by far the most common cause of cracking we see. This is particularly prevalent in new or refurbished buildings, especially those with a large quantity of timber components. These types of cracks are usually hairline in nature and are caused by the natural expansion and contraction of building elements. Often, but not always, this type of cracking is worse at upper floor levels, as buildings are normally less rigid and less restrained, and have less weight holding them in place. It is therefore very common to see this type of crack appearing extensively in loft conversions, particularly as new building materials are bedding in and acclimatising to being in a heated environment. This type of cracking can also be exacerbated by high moisture levels, as this can affect the way that finishes and building elements perform. Normally, we simply advise that these types of cracks are filled prior to your next redecoration, and it is rare that structural work will be required. This type of crack tends to develop externally and is most common through mortar joints and brickwork. If the mortar pointing to your house is old and slightly degraded, it will take on more water than it should, which can freeze between the joints between bricks. Since this can dislodge mortar pointing, the cracking often looks much worse than it should, causing alarm. Sometimes the freeze-thaw effect can also serve to crack brickwork. Our first remedy for addressing this type of crack, unless we identify other contributing factors, is usually to repoint the affected area of brickwork in a suitable mortar and to replace cracked bricks. Repointing can also address other issues such as damp and humid environments internally. From a one-off inspection, impact damage can be hard to diagnose. Of course, if a property owner has driven their car through the porch, this might be obvious. On the other hand, we often see quite significant cracking which has been caused by vibrations when installing windows and doors or adding an extension to the rear. Often this cracking stays as it is for years without causing problems, but due to freeze-thaw action can sometimes worsen, allowing water ingress or internal cracking to develop. Sometimes, when it is unclear if damage has been caused by impact, we recommend a period of monitoring to ensure that the problem is not caused by something more serious, such as movement to the foundations. We cannot always be absolutely sure without this monitoring of the cause of this movement, but we use our experience to guide the client to the most likely cause, setting out the risks of other causes and what type of work might be required in the future. This type of cracking can be almost any size and we will advise on remedial work accordingly. Settlement cracking is caused by sections of the building's foundations moving at a slightly different rate to the remainder of foundations before coming to rest in a new position. We often see this where there have been historical drainage defects which have now been fixed or after a new extension is bedded in. As with many cracks, we cannot confirm absolutely that a building is settled without a monitoring period. The key issue with settlement is that the cracking has stopped worsening. When we are sure that the building has stopped moving, we can address the knock-on effects such as cracking and adjustment of windows and doors. Subsidence cracking is similar to settlement cracking but with one key difference the building is continuing to move. This is common if, for example, 
part of the building is slowly migrating down the slope or if the causes of movement have yet to be addressed. This could be related to drainage or large tree roots causing changes in soil conditions. Often, this type of movement will create the largest cracks and can sometimes be responsible for cracks greater than 25 mm wide, which is quite alarming. Remedies for subsidence can include underpinning to the foundations, which is expensive work. You will definitely need a construction professional involved for this type of work. Another type of ongoing movement can be caused by roof spread, where weaknesses in the roof structure can cause outer walls to bulge. This is often driven by the replacement of a lightweight slate roof with concrete tiles and will require roof strengthening works before cracking can be addressed. This can be expensive and difficult to fix, so again, it's one for the construction professionals. Following our recent heat wave, we have experienced an increased level of inquiries relating to cracks in buildings, which appear to be driven by movement that is a kind of hybrid of settlement and subsidence. This seems to be driven by soil drying out and contracting, allowing foundations to move in unexpected ways. We even saw one building which had been underpinned following the 1970s heatwave, which had cracked again in exactly the same areas as before. We were able to compare the new cracking with the engineer's report at the time. If you think that your cracking might be connected to the heatwave, you should first consider waiting a couple of months for some rain to see if your building returns to normal, which we would expect to be the case for many buildings. While you are likely to be left with some minor cracking, this is most likely to be cosmetic only. So if your cracking only appeared shortly after the heatwave started and has not developed into cracks of three millimeters wide or more, it might be worth giving it some time before asking a surveyor for advice. Of course, if you are alarmed, do speak to a surveyor. If after watching this short video, you still have concerns about the cause of your cracking, our team of surveyors will be pleased to help you. All of our chartered building surveyors are well versed in building pathology and will be able to assess the cause of your crack or direct any further investigation as necessary. Our team of crack doctors can be reached on 023 81 55 0051 and will be pleased to assist you further.